Welcome back to your coverage of the Cena Cup, the Cena Cup Supernova Dota 2 Open Season Dota number two. This is our final qualifier game. It's Titan versus 411. I'm Basekip here casting on behalf of Beyond the Summit. So a reminder of how the format works. We had eight teams enter the qualifier portion banned. of the competition just to knock Dota out uh, four of them. So that was and the teams advancing so far out of this qualifier portion. Yesterday we had Tong Fu and LGD Int. Today we had Hearts Get Together and this is going to be our final best of three for the qualifier portion of the competition and our final best of three for today. Titan versus 4Love. The Radiant winner is going to pick. advance to play DK uh, in Dyer the first round. Pick of the upper bracket, which is effectively the in, the entire competition. There is also a lower bracket once you get to the next round, so it becomes double elimination, and that means uh, that you do have a little bit more safety. Here in the qualifier rounds, if you lose the best of three, you are out. So let's get ourselves underway with the draft. Titan going to be getting rid of the Timbersaw and the Venomancer for love. A little bit interesting. Are going to be getting rid of the Viper Ten very early on. Uh, and the Elder Titan choosing to first pick up the Alchemist. Five we do have a Clockwork remaining. and a Visage making it through. Dire so team pick. We'll see if Titan might end up moving towards the Visage as well. They've already got the Clockwork. Um, Extinct is very well known for his Visage play, so... We wouldn't be too surprised to see it picked up here uh, as well. So let's talk about teams a little bit, guys. So Titan, they are your pretty. They are pretty much your TI3 Orange squad uh, under a under a new name, under a new brand. So Ten they're currently playing under remaining. Titan, um, and they've obviously lost Mushi over to DK. Uh, they did previously have Ice, formerly of Zenith, playing for them, but it looks Crystal like for Radiant. today. Uh, they are going to have Johnny standing Radiant in. Team uh, this 4Love side, 4Love obviously a familiar organization, but I can't say that I'm super familiar with the players, and it looks like the last match that band. was on record uh, under 4Love, at least on Join Dota, uh, was a match with none of these players. So this appears to be a reformed 4Love squad. I can't really say I'm too familiar uh, with them. They could, of course, just Ten be playing under different remaining. tags, but the only person that I recognize uh, is Pretty Hall, and I can't remaining. exactly pin pinpoint from where either. The name Radiant is just team the band. name is just familiar from some of the casting uh, that Dyer I've done. The one last band. concern that we do have to address is servers. So Titan are obviously a team based in Southeast Asia. For Love are a Chinese team. Uh, so the way that the servers are going to work for this best of three game one, this game we are on the perfect world servers Ten game two remaining. so perfect world servers are going to favor for love a little bit game two uh, we're going to be Five back on singapore remaining. so the southeast asian cluster uh, and that'll favor titan quite a bit honestly uh, and then for our third and final game it's actually going to be a coin flip decider as far as server is concerned the loser of the coin flip will get Dyer to nominate whether pick. or not they want first pick first ban or radiant um well whether or, not, whether or not they want first pick second pick radiant or dire so there is still a small advantage to them, but the server advantage is going to be pretty big if we do get out to that uh, to that third and final game. But I think that's pretty much, uh, un unfortunately, it seems like the best way to do it. I don't know if that's going to continue to be the case for Titan as we move further Ten and further into remaining. the competition. They are the only team, I believe, uh, in the comp that Radiant are based out of, out of Southeast Asia. So... I don't know if they are just going to be using a VPN like they are for the rest of um, the matches, like they are in this game. They're using a VPN for their first matchup just to try and bring their ping down a little bit. Uh, or if we are going to continue this alternating system. It would seem like a bit of a shame to start Dyer bringing games pick. down to ping and a coin flip, but you have to make do sometimes. Uh, so we're going to have a Chen picked up here for Titan. They actually went for the Weaver as their second pickup. Nature's Prophet and Mirana are going to be your bans for love, getting rid of some supports uh, with the Naga Siren and the Visage. And Titan, pick up the Chen. There's already a Crystal Maiden on the field. Um, and, well, for love also have the Wind Ranger here. So if they want an offlane with a little bit of counter-pushing power, they've already got it. If they really want to be annoying Five to the Chen, they could remaining. still even uh, consider picking up the Bounty Hunter. And we've, we've seen just Reserve how great the bounty time. can be uh, in locking at the Chen. Also, really good against Weaver. Um, worth having around. So, could see that, see that as a strong option here for, for for love And Titan haven't done the usual prep work to pick up a Chen. We do sometimes see teams, you, you ban the Crystal Maiden, you ban the Bounty Hunter, and then maybe you have space to, to go for the Chen. Or you pick it up at a point where the enemy team can't wedge 
uh, anti Chen heroes into their lineup. So, Titan actually just playing this pretty Radiant old school, uh, going for the Weaver and the Life Stealer. So it looks like just pretty solid duo lanes uh, overall. Not 100% sure about the Clockwork though. It looks like maybe a Weaver or Life Stealer is, is going to be heading towards mid. Titan might have done their homework a little bit more than I have. They might have their suspicions Storm about it being an Alchemist tonight. mid or. Uh, or something Dia similar, Team but ban. for love, there could also be a carry alchemist, of course, but they're just going to be picking up the storm here. Great pickup to have against the weaver uh, and the nakes, assuming that he can, assuming that he gets to his orchid quickly. The the early game for the uh, for the storm spirit is going to be Ten absolutely crucial remaining. here, and we'll see if Titan might be able to get their hands on a nice ganking partner uh, for this gen. Maybe something like a Rubik uh, or a Shadow Demon would be able to put some good pressure down uh, on the storm. Reserve time. Uh, and I guess the one last thing to point out when I was talking about teams is that Titan, they don't have their fifth, which was, uh, which was normally... So after they lost Mushi, they picked up Ice, formerly of Zenith, but for this game, they've got Johnny standing in. I'm not sure if Johnny... Jo so Johnny is actually bad. from the Rattlesnake China squad, um, who didn't actually do too well in WPC Ace recently. But um, So it looks like he's going to be standing in. I'm not sure if he's still in China or if he's... Um, headed back Ten because I don't believe he is originally from uh, China. He is originally from the Southeast Asian Five scene. Seconds so remaining. we'll check pings in a second, guys. Once we get into the the beginning of the game, but and I, get, I guess time. all will be clear from there. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Gyrocopter is the ban from Titan, so still thinking that this Alchemist is going to be in a supportive role, roaming around with the Crystal Maiden, and looks like Titan are calling uh, Windrunner as the as the off lane. Uh, with that, so in that case, Four Love are indeed looking for a farmer. Gyrocopter uh, would not have been a bad choice. There is still, Dire team I guess, a Razor in the pool. I mean, Four Love aren't the best equipped to deal with the Life Stealer, so I think this is where it's nice that Titan picked up the Life Stealer later in the draft because Four Love already did a lot of the groundwork with their support, so that you don't have to deal with the Shadow Demon, you don't have to deal with the Naga, you don't have to deal. Uh, with the Bane, now that you've picked up the, the Life Stealer, and I think it is fairly well positioned for Titan. They're not going to be able to get their hands on the Rubik to party up with that Chen uh, and try and gank the Storm. And Lich. Titan finish things off with the Lich. Radiant so looking like it might be pick. something like Duo Mid, uh, Life Stealer, Lich, Weaver maybe heading towards top with a little bit of help from the Chen, uh, and then Clockwork as their offlane. So Fairly greedy overall, but the Lich mid should be able to slow down the Storm Spirit a little bit. They don't have the best lineup for ganking him, but a smoked Chen, uh, if either of the slows connect, either the Frost Nova or the Open Wounds, might be able to bring him down before level 6. Ten the only problem is going remaining. to be, post level 6, they've got Five no stuns. Remaining. They've got a hookshot, but that's about it. Nobody else can really lock down time. Uh, the Storm Spirit. So we might even have to see something like an Orchid on the Clockwork or an Orchid on the Life Stealer, uh, maybe even a Hex on the Life Stealer if he can get off to a really good start, just to hopefully deal with this Storm Spirit. Because otherwise, he's going to be a really big problem. And for love, realizing that they can still just as well pick up the Bounty Hunter, um, are just going to have him trailing Chen the whole game. And if if he manages to steal almost all of, well, 50% of Chen's experience for the whole early game, then Chen is all of a sudden going to be very useless, and 4Love will be able to actually free up another lane. So they could even have the Windrunner as the as the true off lane. The Bounty Hunter is just annoying the Chen. Uh, Alchemist can be pulling. No, well, Alchemist, I guess, is farming on bottom lane. Crystal Maiden could be jungling slash pulling, and then uh, Storm is just heading mid. So, yeah, 4Love are going to be running the carry alchemist who isn't going to have the best time against the nakes he's not going to have the best time uh against the frost armor either honestly and not such a great time against Ten the clockwork seconds but remaining. yeah 